Good afternoon, this is Dan with Dan's Everything Outdoors and recently one of my subscribers had asked in a comment um, about the, M the MIS tarp that I did uh, on this uh, review here and on that review that was a, a 10 by 10 uh, hammock tarp but I, he asked about being in the rain and I told him that on my bigger hike I ended up taking the Rainfly Evolution which was a larger tarp and the reason I did that because it was 12 foot along the, on the ridge line and then it was by 10 feet with with the cutouts to save some weight if I was expecting a lot more rain it would help protect the ends of uh, my hammock so that the, your lines don't get wet so the end of your hammock doesn't get wet and that water doesn't doesn't you know wick down and, and, and make your uh, hammock a little bit damp so this is the Rainfly Evolution tarp, which is a rainfly that you use for um, like your ground cover or for a tarp or as a rainfly for a hammock. And I have two of them. This is the digital uh, cami. And these, both of these weigh 28 ounces or 1.13, 1 pound 13 ounces. We've set one up already for you. To kind of show you a little bit about it. It, it one thing nice about this brain fly is that it easily fits into the bag that they give you they give you a bag they give you um, all the guy lines they give you a ridge line and they give you tensioners as well as they give you six stakes and it, it's very easily you could put this in a fraction of the size of the a case rather bag that they give you but it makes it really easy to pack up and I like that about the hike because I could pack up really quickly and still keep this in the bag if I wanted to versus the MIS one I had to perfectly try to get it rolled as tight as possible so it fit back into the bag um, later in the hike I just stuffed mine on the bottom side with the wet stuff and I never even rolled it up but if you wanted to roll it up you could so this is the this is the camo one and one thing you notice about the camo hopefully it's showing up on video is that on the uh, website it looks more it looks darker it looks more of a camouflage this one um, in the Sun turns out to be a very light colored cami um, even here even here in the shade you can tell it's not as dark as most camouflages were but I really still like the pattern and we really like the the uh, design this is actually my son's rainfly for his hammock and he set this up for me today uh, but the, the things I'll notice about this is this one if you'll see on the ends right here it gives you much more coverage it go it'll go all the way out here we had bare, trouble fitting it between these two trees and so it's sagging just a little bit but it's still when you pull out the corners the way it's set up it gives us this nice slope and looks really good whenever he sets this up I always say wow that looks like that looks really looks really neat because you, it, it pulls all the corners out individually and even if you got a droop in the middle with a ridge line then it looks good alternately as I said in the MIS video uh, for that tarp is you can run this ridge line underneath if you're hanging something from it but we tend to just hang it from the top and then if I wanted to hang a light in there I could just use some other method to hang a light or just clip it off my hat or something like that on this particular rain fly you'll notice it only has on the top two tie out points so if you're looking for a rain fly or more of a tarp I should say that has lots more tie out points and this probably is not going to be the rain fly for you rather tarp for you because it's more specifically designed based on the tie outs and the shape of it to be a rain fly than a tarp so there's only one and two and we have this set up in a configuration where we're using uh, a, a toggle with a bowline knot on one end and then a trucker's hitch on the other end of the ridge line and then we're using pressic knots a separate piece of rope that's a pressing knot and then we're using that with a toggle to hold out both both ends of this 
but you can see there's plenty of room inside of this. If I lift up in there, storm or weather, you can lower the rain fly down to give you better coverage and protection from the wind, as well as tie down these points even tighter, which then protects you from the wind, the rain, and the elements. So really, this is a great lightweight rain fly that you can use for that purpose. So as you can see, I mentioned, it's got these this shape here. I'm not even sure what you would want to call this, but it comes, it, it, you cut a, it's a cutout on this edge, and then it's a cutout on the bottom edge, just to save you some fabric, just to save you some weight on the product. But I think one of the things it does do is it kind of creates this nice pullout that uh, looks good and still pro provides protection when you need it.